Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome back to our Unity Endless Runner tutorial series where we're looking at making all the basics of a fun little Endless Runner game. So in the last episode we made a new main menu for our game for when you first started up and how to get your game uh, started. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to take a look at what happens when the player dies. So at the moment what happens is, uh, if, we, if it'll start running here, we'll see once you die it just pauses for a second and then it reset, reset, resets you back to the start of the game. And that's fine, but we want to make it a bit more interactive than that. If if your player dies, you want to be able to give him the option of he can either restart the game or he'll, you can go back to the main menu. Uh, and obviously you don't want them to only have one second to make that decision. So we're going to make a bit of change to how our game manager works as well. So, what we need first though is a menu that's going to appear when our player dies and the way we do that is we need to make it in our canvas much like we did with the main menu screen so essentially we're going to go into our canvas here and we're going to right click on canvas and create an empty object and we're going to call this object uh, our death menu uh, and we're going to adjust the size of this so that it stretches to the full size because we're going to create objects um, as child of this and we want them to be able to move around nicely. So as a child of this we're going to right click and create on the UI an image. And now obviously normally you could use this image to show any kind of graphics you wanted on the screen and as, as a UI element but we're not going to use it for that. What we're going to use it for is just lay over the screen so it makes everything look a, a bit darker so that you know the game is no longer active. So we'll just go to the color here and just drag the color uh, selector all the way down to black and grab the alpha value which controls how transparent it is and if we just drag that down, if you see you drag it all the way it goes invisible but we'll drag it about halfway, a little bit less than halfway so that it adds a little bit of darkness to the screen and then we're just going to grab it by the corners using this object or this tool sorry drag it so it's bigger than our canvas and we're going to set the the anchors of this to be stretched as well so this will automatically stretch with our screen so if we make it bigger we can see the whole screen gets darker just the way we wanted to okay so then now, now that we have that we need to add a couple of uh, buttons and some text so we're going to go to UI here again add some text this text will just say uh, in capital letters, you died. Oh no, your character died. So we make it nice and big. Center that. We'll just make these boxes roughly that size. That seems fine enough. Actually, that's probably a little bit too high. Set it to there. We make the font size nice and big. Oh no, you died. So we go back to the death menu again, and we're going to add a button. Much like again, much like we did last time, we add a button. We'll just drag this down a little bit to about here. We need to rename the text on it, so this will be uh, just restart, um, and we'll make that a little bit darker, just so it's a bit more visible. And then we'll duplicate that button, drag it down, and again we'll rename the text. And this text will be renamed to quiz quit to main menu. So that's how we know we'll get back to our main menu screen. Uh, and we just rename these buttons just so we have so we know which one's which nice and handily. So just this will be a restart button and this will be the quit button. Perfect. So there we go. We've got a, a simple little menu there that um at the moment doesn't do anything. So we need to do we need to write a script to make that be able to do something. Uh, and we're going to go here and create a C sharp script and we'll call this one the death menu because we already have a main menu script and then we're going to use this to do essentially the same thing um, but in a different kind of way so we need some a few little different uh, scripting elements so we'll just wait for that to load up here and another thing we're going to need to make some changes to our game manager like we were saying, we don't want it to just wait a second and immediately restart the player with this menu open. So we need to uh, make some changes to that as well. So we'll write a little bit in our death menu first. So essentially what we need to do is on our death menu we just need to say uh, much like we did last time to load into 
the game from the main menu we also need to be able to load back to the main menu from within our uh, main scene so here we're going to do create another string again so public string which is just a group of letters or words that's what a string is uh, so public string um, main main menu level and then we're going to create a couple of uh, functions for our script to use so we'll use public void restart restart game and put some curly brackets and then also public void quit to main just like that perfect okay so our quit to main is going to be very straightforward it's going to be just like we had before it's going to be application dot load level and then in our brackets we'll put our main menu level just like that but our restart game is going to be a slightly bit different because essentially what our restart game uses is from our main man or from our game manager sorry um so if we just save this one here for a second we, if we go look at our game manager down in our restart game function here we currently have it it starts a coroutine and the reason it starts a coroutine is because we wanted to wait a certain amount of time and then run the second bit of code but now now that we have this menu essentially what we wanted to do is when when the restart game is called on the game manager we wanted to do these first two little bits which is disabling the player and disabling the score from increasing uh, and instead of waiting for two seconds what we want or for a half second what we wanted to do is activate this menu and then wait for this menu to tell it that it wants to restart and then it'll run all these little bits of code here so the way we're going to do that is just by moving moving a few things around here so we're not going to use this start code routine anymore so we're just going to place a couple of slashes in front of us to comment that bit of code out so it's no longer being used but we don't want to delete it in case we decide we want to use it again so we'll, we'll take this bit here and copy that and paste it in up above so this will be running straight away um, and then down here we're going to create a new function that we're going to call public void um, reset which is what we're going to be used to reset the player back to the beginning properly and in that section we're going to put all this bit of code that we have I'm going to pop that in there just like that and there we go that's perfect so now now we're no longer using this restart game coroutine anymore so again rather than just deleting this we're just going to comment it out and the way so the way we comment out one line is to put two little slashes in front of it and the way to comment out a whole bunch of stuff is to go slash star and that grays out everything after that and then at the point that we want it to stop which is just after this little section we put star slash so then you can see this one little curly bracket here is now back to a solid full color so we have uh, the same bit of code now being able to be run and access but we don't have our main menu being activated or deactivated um, so what we need to do is make a, just a simple little reference to that main menu so up here we'll say public uh, as we we know we've created a script called death menu so that'll be our object so public death menu um, we'll just call that the, the death, death screen okay so what'll happen is uh, when restart game is called so that that gets called when the player hits into something that kills them so at the bottom of the screen down here this gets called so what happens then straight away is the score stops increasing the player's object is set to false and then what we want to happen is this death screen we want to get turned on so what we'll say is death screen or sorry the death menu dot game object dot set active and then in brackets true so that'll turn this object on in the game uh, and we just save this here oh apparently it decided to close i don't know why that happened <laughs> okay hold on let me go back into the game here just open it back up to make sure that the changes we just put in actually saved game manager yeah those okay that did say that's okay so what we want to happen is 
Once the game starts, there will be no menu obviously visible, but then we want it to turn on as soon as the player gets killed. So we're going to test that now to make sure that that works fine for us. So we're going to go to our death menu here, and up here we're going to uncheck this box so it makes the whole object uh, no longer active, and it makes the, the children of the object no longer active as well. And then on our game manager, we're going to drag that death screen onto there. It doesn't want... Oh, I haven't added the death menu script, that's why. So we need to add the death menu script into here. Uh, we might as well put in the main menu level name as well. So much like we did last time, we're just going to copy and paste the exact same name from here. And then on our death menu, we're going to paste it in there just like that. So now on our game manager, we can drag that into place just like that. Okay. So now what we should get when we hit play here is the character running along. That's fine. And once we get died, there we go. We get this little menu screen popping up. You died. But of course, at the moment, our buttons don't actually do anything. We need to set that up now. Okay, so we're going to just turn this back on so it's for the, the sake of making things nice and handy. Um, and we're just going to set up these buttons, much like we did last time. We add space to the on click, drag our debt menu into there, and then go down to the debt menu scripts. And for this restart button, we're going to use restart game. And then the exact same thing again with our quit button down to that menu and we're going to use quit to main. Now our restart button at the moment doesn't actually do anything for us. If we go back to our debt menu, as we can see here, we're not actually doing anything, but we know that all the code we want to use to restart the game is now within reset on the game manager. And as there's only one game manager in our whole scene, all we have to do is do a find object of type and then in the sharp brackets, game manager and then some normal brackets after that so we're just going to find the object that's in this that's in the scene called that has the game manager script attached and then on that we're just going to run the reset function from there so now we have the reset button we'll just all, all it does is just call the reset on our game manager and then within our game manager what we want to do here is make is turn this death screen off so we'll just copy the exact same bit of code we had there, pop it in there like that, and instead of saying true, we'll just say false. So now it'll do all the exact same stuff, it'll go through this process and it'll reset the player back to the start and set everything just the way we want it to happen. So we go back in over here, and there we go, once it's finished compiling, uh, we need to make sure and turn our death menu off. And everything should be all hooked up nicely. And if we hit play, once our player starts running, going along and jumping, 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 and we fall down and die. Oh no, but we can restart. There we go. Back to the start of the game again. Running along, jumping along. And we're, we're everything's being reset, so our score's being reset back to value, and we're, re, we're being reset back to the start. And of course, if we quit to the main menu instead, we can go back out here. We can pop back into the game, die, go back to the main menu, we can quit out altogether, uh, and there you go. That's a, a relatively nice and simple and straightforward death, death screen or death menu uh, for your player to be able to use. Uh, so there, thanks for watching this episode. Next time, we're going to take a look at adding a pause menu to the game, which again is works off some of the very same principles, but we're also adding an element of controlling time into the mix. So that'll be interesting to cover and we'll take a look at that in the very next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for checking out this episode and if you want even more Games Plus James goodness, make sure you hit those subscribe and like buttons. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook by following the links on screen where you can find out all the latest news about the channel. And if you want to help support the show, check out the Patreon page where you can get exclusive content in return for helping make the channel even better. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.